good morning from the beach at Ayr at the holiday camp. As you saw, we had a seagull. Today we are talking supply chain issues and we're talking about them down at the beach because, you know, it's the beach. There's waves. I don't live anywhere near the beach, so this is a huge difference to me. However, again, the reason we're talking about the supply chain issues is because I read an article today saying that supply chain issues are about to be problematic again. And I was like, OK, what's going on? So seemingly with the Lebanon-Israel thing, um, <clears throat> that could cause more difficulties in the Red Sea area. Now, most of the big tanker companies don't go that way anyway, but some of the smaller ones still were, and they're thinking that that's going to be not so much now if this kicks off. So, when they don't use the Red Sea, it's seemingly a good 10 days to two weeks slowdown on things arriving, certainly to the UK or Europe. Seemingly, there is also a drought, I think it's the Panama Canal. So instead of 30-something ships going through a day, they're only allowing 20-something ships going through a day. And I was like, okay, scare tactics, you know, price of crude oil has gone up again, just recently seemingly, by about 10%. I was like, right, okay. But then I looked at this. Now, this, this time last year, would have two to three tankers on it every day, or container ships. Do you know, big industrial ships. Just in that bit there, like from there along to there. Now, as you can see, there isn't any. And there hasn't been any. Um, we arrived on the Friday, there was no tankers on Saturday, no tankers on Sunday, and we thought, okay, that's maybe just the, you know, maybe just because it's the weekend. We've seen two tankers all week. We used to see two to three every day. So maybe there is something in this supply chain issue. Maybe there is something that things are going to be more difficult to get. So, as you know, when I start thinking that, you know I'm going shopping on payday. You know I'm going to stock up in long term. You know I'm going to be making sure I've got everything. Because supply chain issues, as we all know through COVID, caused a big problem. Now, apart from the tankers, etc., remember there's also the strike, it's the longshoremen strike in America. Now, they put out thousands of containers every day. It's not happening. They're on strike. Like, very, very many of them are on strike. So that's not going to happen either. So, yeah, you probably want to be looking at your preps, people, especially just now, before it turns into a big thing. So, yeah, now I'm going to go back in, have a cup of tea, and I will catch you later.